The Commissioner of Police, Chester Williams, and his team on Saturday visited portions of northern Belize deemed to be illegal border, border crossing areas. Williams noted in a Facebook post, open quote, this is a part of our ongoing effort to keep the northern districts safe as we continue to revise our plan to meet the changing demands on the ground. I want to assure the Belizean people that the government is committed to ensuring that our country is not used or seen as a safe haven for no criminal, cartel, or organized criminal ground. The government's commitment is clearly demonstrated through the joint efforts of our security forces along the illegal border crossing areas, end quote. Williams today spoke about his tour and the heightened level of security near the northern border in, with Mexico. He also responded to remarks made Friday by the leader of the opposition, Moses Shine Barrow, that Belize is a narco state. Members of the security forces continue to do our operations um, within the northern districts with a view to be able to ensure that our Belizeans um, who live within the northern districts and in particular along the regular and ir irregular border crossing areas are safe. We have certainly stepped up our presence um, in the area. I, I did a tour of the area over the weekend. Um, I made several observations and uh, I will be putting my observations um, into a document and submit to cabinet with recommendations in terms of what um, additional efforts I think that we can put into the area to enhance the level of security um, for our people. So there is where we are right now. Um, I, I know that I, I had listened to the leader of the opposition and I have to excuse him because it's mental, mental health month. So um, he had certainly made several baseless uh, and irresponsible comments. Uh, even going as far as painting Belize as a narco state, um, I, I don't know where he get that from or if he, if he knows um, what is the definition of a narco state. And uh, um, also speaking about the issue of the northern operations that um, we should bring other stakeholders from the NGOs and uh, um, so forth to the table. This is a very, very highly sensitive operation that we're conducting. And uh, because of the nature of the operations, we, we cannot uh, include NGOs or persons who are not a part of the security apparatus. Kumpa Williams also spoke of the continuing cross-border collaboration with their Mexican counterparts. We remain in constant communication um, with our Mexican counterparts. And again, I must say, um, I must commend our Prime Minister and, and uh, the Minister of Home Affairs and the Minister of Defense for the input that they have been putting into this operation and the support. I, I can say that whenever we approach the Prime Minister for equipments or resources to be able to carry out our mandate, the Prime Minister is always willing to assist. So again, to go back to what um, the leader of opposition had said that the government showed no um, effort in trying to deal with this issue, it's a total lie. Um, likewise, Minister Marin and Minister Musa um, have been with us in the, on the front line. Um, we met, we discussed the issues, and we planned in terms of how we're going to execute, and we're doing just that. Williams today also clarified that the Thursday night murder of 28-year-old Benito Canela in Pachacan Corozal was not related to any narco activity or even drug-related. According to Williams, the issue was between Belizeans in the village over money and that police are seeking one suspect, one suspect that is. Williams also wanted to clarify the location of the crime. Another point I'd like to clarify um, is the issue with the murder in Pachacan. Um, again, the leader of the opposition alluded that <laughs> it is as a result of the narcos and a whole pile of foolishness. I can say to the Belizean people that the young man murder has nothing to do with the narcos or 
the whole issue that we're addressing in the north. It has to do with him and the local people from the area. Uh, we have a suspect in mind that we're looking for at this time, and we're hoping that we'll be able to locate that um, individual and bring some closure. I also visited that area over the weekend. I spoke to the family of the deceased um, person and gave them the assurance in terms of what we will do. And likewise, contrary to what the media reported and in particular channel, that the murder took place just across a river that goes into um, Chetamal. That is not true. Yeah. Um, the murder took place um, at the park in Pachacan and the park is right across from his home. The river that... <laughs> crosses into Chetamal is about five miles away. 